with his chain spam from maybe. Snowball is there as well from F by dodging up the X Mark combo. BKB is committed. They're straight in jump four from Army. Oh, there's Red Tinge! He gets the black hole and buys the time for the first tent! Oh my god, Tinge! Oh my! Oh my god! I've never seen anything like I did it! He gets it off! They come straight into it! The full tips are out for Tim! Ladies and gentlemen, this is the episode where we think of a new idea. We think of a possibility. We try to be hopeful. Perhaps we even dream a little bit. I'm not trying to say that TNC is going to win TI, but I'm speaking hypothetical. Could Team TNC, the Pinoy team, the first Southeast Asian team, could they possibly win the international? Could they win TI9? This is Crystalis Chronicle. Welcome, and make sure you subscribe if you haven't. So, as of the latest major in Epicenter, which is a Russian tournament held from June 22 to 30th, 16 of the best teams participated where they all had a chance to win valuable DPC points so they can get a secure invitation to TI9. Unsurprisingly, the top three teams were Vici Gaming, who won number one, number two was Team Liquid, and number three was Virtus Pro. But unlike any other expectation, unlike anything else, the top four team of that tournament, of a DPC major tournament for Valve, is none other than yours truly TNC Predators, a team of Filipinos, a team of outcasts of the world. But this is where the true story begins. Ladies and gentlemen, in the group stages, we see Team TNC to be superior. They had a glorious 4-in-1 outing. Then, the real drama and story would unfold. Ladies and gentlemen, first, at the upper bracket round one, TNC would destroy Royal Never Give Up. Then, at upper bracket round two, it was Vici Gaming versus TNC Predators, the champions of that tournament. Although, Vici Gaming would defeat TNC, but TNC would win a single game, so they would lose by a hair, two games to one. Now at that very moment, yes, China succeeds and the Pinoys or the Southeast Asians fall down. But that is not the ending. The significant part about this series we can see is that TNC never gave up. They had motivation, they pushed it themselves and they believed in themselves. Now that is a trait that only TI champions can attain to or think about having. They must have that trait. I'll go on to this idea in a little bit, but let's go to the next round. You see at the lower bracket, after TNC lose to Vichy Gaming, they play against China's grand finalist, the highest team of last TI, the second placed PSG LGD Gaming with Somnus, aka maybe. And surprisingly, TNC Predators 2 0 PSG LGD. They were able to take down the Chinese juggernauts, the team that went to game five at the last TI. Five man vacuum comes through as they'll try and turn things around. There'll be a buyback from Armel. AU with the big ult, the glimmer as well. They can't quite cancel the it. Doing a lot of damage out here, AU, in the midst of it all. They've lost two on PSG. Oh my Armel's god. without buyback. Two spies back as well. They know that this for TNC is the fight for them to take. Armel looks towards maybe. He's popping the bloodstone heal early to try and put them off. F1 goes with the TPI. He won't make it. It's Gabby with the triple kill. They're chasing that for maybe as well. He's back to the strike with the three dead with no health as he'll use himself up for TNC. They'll clean him up as well. Four dead. Now, what does that mean? There holds very significance in this winning alone. That winning alone made TNC a top four contending team of Epicenter. Now, because of this tournament alone, TNC would qualify, would automatically qualify for an invitation to the International of 2019. Now, let's go back a little bit more. What does this series show? On to Gabby. Gabby needs help. He needs it now. The wall's been dropped. Gabby's still alive. Get the shot. to put the BKB. And now he's ready to turn to find the back. Cuckoo. 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 On to the three of them. They are dead on PSG. GG is called. And TNC will be able to close up game one. If you look at the international and the history of it, no one has repeated. But every team that goes through the whole international, they have inner will. They have strength that's beyond our imagination. They believe that they can win and they do so. They dream about winning TI and it actually happens. That's something that every TI champion team had. Every series in the international, it's a, a birth, awakening. 
you learn from each series and get better. You might not play the best, you might not even be the best team in the tournament. But the thing about the TI is that you learn at each stage, you get better. The team has to have true belief in themselves and each other. If they are able to believe in each other and themselves, play as one, then they have a chance to win the international. Yes, of course, the coach has to do some things like research on the opponents. Yes, the players have to actually play. But the most important part is that belief, that trust, that God and destiny will truly guide you to victory. Now, if you look at TI7, Team Liquid was victorious because they believed in themselves and each other. If you look at every other international, TI5, TI6, even TI8, where Team OG came out of nowhere. They literally came out of nowhere, won the qualifiers. They made it into TI winning the qualifiers. Then they would destroy everyone in TI and win the whole thing. It's because it was destined. It was made to happen. Now, perhaps TNC Predators could attain that sort of destiny. Perhaps it's up to them. Maybe it's their chance to shine. Yeah, we gotta see this again and again. Look at this position. Gyms. x Nova's not in position for it. Look at this play, they're all coming in, Tims is in, he's, he's trying, so low, but the time that he buys with that black hole, it changes everything. You see Pinoy's, you guys, you guys have to look deep within to see if TNC can truly win. TNC Predators, the Filipino squad, the team of Gabby, Armel, Kuku, Tims, and EU, if they believe in themselves, if they believe in each other, if they play in synchronization, they have a really good chance. You see, defeating PSG LGD at Epicenter, at a major tournament, it proves that they were not shy. It proves that they were not nervous. It proves that TNC has the skills, the tenacity, the belief in one another that they can succeed. You see, PSG LGD is one of the best teams in China. Now, imagine if you're able to dethrone them or defeat them in a best of three series. You really have potential. You have to think like that. See, TNC Predators could shock the whole world by playing like the way they did at Epicenter. If they are able to prolong their style of play, they truly can go far in the International of 2019. Perhaps they even have a chance of winning the whole thing. And these are last final clips of TNC playing brilliant Dota. I hope you guys enjoyed this take, this um, hopeful story. It really is a passionate story showing you what TNC Predators are capable. You might be surprised what a human is able to do if they put their mind to it. Until next time, this is Crystalis Chronicle. Make sure you hit that red shiny subscribe button if you haven't. Until next time, I'm out. Make a beautiful jump there from the high ground there. Hey. Gabby just get booted pretty far. Got the snowboarder dodge the X-Mo, tries to force up the high ground, but he finally gets forced back down. Maybe miscommunication there for two, but Chalice, he's able to find the center, gets the RP. The second the one. The the GA, he came out before the second one was there. So they cannot follow with the physical damage, and now Chalice gets a pistol blade down. Then with other Magnus, Tims has the control onto FY. They should set up a second. FY will still get the snowball out. Tims wants to refresh. He's got a second black hole ready for the bigger kills. It doesn't matter, maybe though, they've already killed two. There black hole. The second black hole to close things up. Tims, this was his game, and he has done it. He really has. There's three dead. The rapier hits the deck. Three heroes without buyback for them to take their victory. TNC, they've got a GG. GG. As TNC take game two, 2-0. Two of course, no Aegis, so it has to be a little careful. They'll now try and get it off the back lines. Another route onto the two of them with his chain spam from maybe. Snowball is there as well from FY dodging up the X-Mark combo. BKB is committed. They're straight in jump for Carmen. Oh, there goes Tibbs. He gets the back off. Advise the time for the first Tibbs. Oh my god, Tibbs. Oh my. Oh my god. I've never seen anything like I did it. He gets it off. They come straight into it. The full tips are out for Tibbs.